Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing the Baphomet moth. These tiger moths get their common name due to their similar appearance to Baphomet depictions, but they don't always look like this. In fact, only the males have this impressive display. These insects are also known as hairy tentacle moths for their large, hairy, scent-producing organs. These are called cormata, which means feather duster in Greek. The structures are waved in the wind to attract other members of their species, but it takes some time before they reach this point. Baphomet moths begin life as an egg. These yellow-colored eggs are laid on leaves in clusters up to 50. From them hatch caterpillars. The caterpillars are also hairy and have yellow stripes. This is where the process of developing their oversized scent organs begins. These moths eat a variety of plants, but specifically, they focus on plants that many other insects avoid. Pyrolizidine alkaloids, or PAs for short, protect plants from insect invasion. Plants can increase their PA output to make them unpalatable to insects, but Baphomet moths love them. These PAs are exactly what the male Baphomet moth needs to grow large. If he doesn't eat enough in his lifetime, he won't develop large cormata with which to display. Baphomet moths also eat common crop plants like rice, coffee, and sweet potato. So many people consider these moths to be pests. In fact, another of their common names is the rice-feeding tiger moth. If the caterpillar can obtain enough PAs prior to pupation, then it will develop large cormata. However, hope is not all lost for males who are unable to do this. Baphomet moth cocoons are hairy and often made on the underside of dead leaves. When the adults emerge, they're ready to mate. An adult can eat to increase his PA intake, but if he didn't have enough as a caterpillar, he's out of luck for being the biggest boy around. Though that doesn't necessarily matter. When ready to mate, a male will avert his cormata from inside his abdomen, thus releasing pheromones into the air that can be detected from miles away. Any females in the area will be unable to resist his smelly charm, but males will also flock to the attractive male. As males arrive, they too will unfurl their cormata. When on display, the males are unable to fly. They'll pull their cormata back into their abdomen prior to mating, and they'll mate with as many females as they can. This is why males can get away without having big cormata. Everyone in the group gets a chance to mate. Baphomet moths aren't the only moths, or butterflies, to show off their fancy gear. But they certainly have the most unique features. A male's hair pencils can be as long as his body, which reaches just under 2 inches in length. These moths live in Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. How long they live and their predators aren't currently listed. However, they're likely taken by moth predators like bats, birds, and other arthropods like spiders. For more facts on the Baphomet moth, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to these viewers for today's request. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.